name is Tani Kunzentra. I'm a lecturer and assistant to the Dean of the School of Social Innovation, Mefalong University. I have been working here for four years. I teach international development for both um, bachelor and master students. I also oversee the work at the Bangkok office that our school has the office in. From June 2022, we opened certificate program in International Development for Future at Once SDG Practitioner, which will be in Bangkok. We would like to upskill and reskill the students who would like to work in international development field. Besides that, this program is also um, designed to um, promote the SDG Sustainable Development Goals to make people understand how to implement it. So we're working with our partner organizations to give them a tool to achieve the SDGs. School of Social Innovation, Metfalong University, established since 2014. We have more than 300 students graduated from our school. From my perspective, I see more positive trend in international development. I see somehow we move a little bit further um, beyond the framework of the North-South framework of the devel international development, we see more multi-stakeholders working together to um, issue or to project some development program to help those people. We see more collaboration among the South country or those are in the developing countries. We not just see the uh, the development as the roles of the state actor, but we also see the partnership that the private sector, the civil society, the local community, NGOs, international organizations, they work together. Seeing this trend, I think that it means that there will be more opportunity for people who would like to work in the development field. Development for whom? There are always the question in international development field because um, from the past we see a lot of challenges and problems of development aids, of how the development aids cannot contribute to the long-term development of um, the recipient countries, for example. So I think when we think about the development for whom now we um, trying to get more into the concept of the inclusiveness or inclusive growth that when we think about development we not just think about some specific group but when we talk about the inclusiveness we talk about not just only who we should help but how we bring those people to get together to be to take part in the development um, decision process so that when everyone when every stakeholders they join together they work together they can contribute to their society and that I believe that it will contribute to the long-term one, not just only the top-down approach that the state actors or the donors just um, would like to, to inject some money and that would not work anymore at all, I think so. The impact of climate change is enormous. Some people may know that this problem exists, but they don't take much action on this. The people who are living in the Pacific Islands, they said that for them, they are not the one who increase the problem of the global warming or the climate change, but they are the one who affect the most. Their home, their land is just disappear in the near future because of the, the high level of the sea, of the water. The climate justice is really important. And I think that the people who suffer from loss and damage of the climate change, they should get some compensation from the big polluters. For the COVID-19 pandemic, I think the global partnership is the key. I think we already know that each country, we are so unequal in terms of the, the knowledge, the scientific advancement, the economic development. We are not even, we are uneven. So there is a need for funding from the donors from the developed countries, a need for the technical assistance, a need for the developed country to help other countries. The digital divide is a really important issue. As you know, that not everyone can access to the technology. In some areas, in the remote area, the signal is really um, 
a big problem that they cannot have the this the good signal that strong enough to to allow them to communicate with the world or to even um, receive the the help from the government and the problems of the the COVID nineteen it will not just disappear in the near future. So we need to think about how to live with it and how to to be able to think about the long term policy to a long term strategy to cope with this. Problem digital divide in the long run. When the fundings or the donors give the money to support the short term project, they the money like comes and go, and the project comes and goes. It's not the long term, and it makes um people heavy, more heavy reliance on the aids, and that way it not the the sustained way of development. We need to remember that working in the international development field is not the work for the profit, but what we should do and should focus is to empower people. For the young people who are interested to work in international development field, to be frank, it's not the easy job. But at the end, your dedication to work for the community will be worthwhile. When you see those people, they have a better life. We cannot change the world alone through participation, through collaboration, through working together. We can have meaningful change one at a time, and that is the way to build a more sustainable society and a better world. Mm -hmm.